Hey everybody! Yeah, look, we're gonna take a quick break away from the certifications right now. We, we did ASCP and NHA, right? So we've done two. So I'll do the other one maybe this afternoon, maybe right after this video, maybe in the morning, whatever. But break time because I want to talk about these hard to get veins again for those of you who are having trouble and um, not sure how to get them, etc. etc. So, first off, when you find a vein and you feel the vein, know that you know that you know that you have your vein. Okay? If it's tiny, if it's deep, grab you a straight needle, please. I know they can be intimidating, but let's say we're using this for a hard stick. Okay, we're going to grab our 23 because it's small, it's a butterfly, it's cute, and it's just going to go in there and get this blood for us. Let's see how this works. Although I'm not a hard stick, I want to tell you guys something about doing this and why I recommend that you try a straight needle first. You got to think about it. Just think about a hard stick, okay? This is a hard stick. Let's say this is a hard stick. We get in the vein right about here, correct? This is a 23 but gauge butterfly. We have no flash, okay? This is all hypothetical. We have no flash, so we're gonna pull back. We pull back, uh-huh, we pull back. Oh, I forgot a holder. Dang, well you guys don't need to see this part. So we pull back, nothing, right? We put our little tube in the vacutainer holder, we're waiting, we're moving it, we're adjusting it, nothing, right? We got the vet, we're checking, we're looking, all the good stuff. You know why? Nothing's coming. Think about this. This patient is hard to stick, correct? So I put the needle in the vein. Now I'm waiting for it to do what? Travel through all of this tubing. If I get a flash at all, or if I get some coming at all, it stops because the vein is small. That's why it stops, because the flow is not there. So you guys have got to stop depending on these butterflies. Now, I'm not a hard stick, so I stuck myself, I get my blood, filling up the tube. See that? We're getting blood. Bam. That's not going to always happen. So you cannot always depend on butterflies. And I don't know how else to say that to you guys. And um, I know it's easy, but the tubing, that's key. When you stick a patient with a straight needle, you know, oh, I did have a holder, my bad. When you stick a patient with a straight needle, do you know what happens? This is the, the end where the sheath is pushed up once you put the, the tube in, and what happens? It goes straight into the tube. There's no interference. Your butterfly, that tubing, is interference when you have a difficult stick. I don't know how else to say that, but please do this for me. Try it wherever you are. Try it with those deep veins, those little veins. Whatever you think is a difficult stick, just try it. Because the only thing you have to get into that needle is the bevel. The tip of that needle, bevel up. That's it. And you'll strike gold. Try it and let me know. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it's, it is a skill learned. And you just have to keep trying it because if you keep using these butterflies for these difficult sticks, it's not going to get easier for you and you are going to get frustrated. So try that, please, and let me know what you think. If you like this video, please let me know what you think. Thumbs up, share, like, comment. If you're here for the first time, please do understand that, yes, this channel is for phlebotomists, LPNs, nurses, healthcare professionals across the board. And thank you guys for subscribing, those of you who are new and had asked me that. Yes, and try to jump in on some of our live streams as well because we talk about a lot of different things and we have fun. So I'm going to go. I'll get back to the certifications in the morning. I doubt if I'll do it this evening, but we'll see. But either way, I'll see you guys in the morning. See y'all later.